I want to ask you this because okay. this, I, I, I read this in the, in the New York Times just yesterday, and you you may have heard this heard about this already, but. Holger Beck Nielsen, and I'm going to mangle these names, of Niels Bohr Institute. Was this the, the Tuesday Times, the Science Times, was it? I believe it was. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. And um, Masao Ninamaya of the Yukawa Institute for Theoretical Physics have proposed the notion that the troubled Large Hadron Collider is being sabotaged by its own future. They have suggested that the, the hypothesized Higgs boson which physicists hope to produce with the collider might be so abhorrent to nature that its creation would ripple back through time and stop the collider before it could make one. Like a time traveler who goes back in time to push its grandfather out of a bus. You know, what is the Higgs boson? Is it Marty McFly now? What's going on here? <laughs> That's quite fanciful here. Uh, by the way, I don't know that they came up with that notion before the the Large Hadron Collider was turned on well, I'm, at the I'm, very I'm beginning. So it's a, to after the fact, say, oh, they're having problems, here's why. Uh, you know, that's weak. Well, that's well, I start to apply it to all the other colliders, and, and Waxahachie shut down before it even got going. So that Higgs boson saw way in advance and shut <laughs> that the Higgs boson? And how, how many, took away the budget? Is that yeah, how many did? Higgs boson were cutting it off the brain of the, the congressman and said, yeah. <laughs> cut the budget, cut the budget. Maybe, maybe the one in charge of the Large Hadron Collider just waited a little too long. He's like, oh crap, i got to uh, shut this one down. Uh, yeah, I, I want to stay undiscovered. I'll go back in time. <laughs> shut the... Shut the uh, so uh, so the, the Higgs boson is a, is a particle that among its many properties, endows particles with the mass that we measure for them. Our current understanding of particle physics, which is n neatly summarized in what's called the standard model of particle physics, where there's quarks, and which are the basic constituents of protons and neutrons and some other exotic particles as well. And then you have electrons and neutrinos and photons, light, and from this you build matter. And then there's scales of these particles. There's a higher energy version of an electron that none of us ever hear about because we don't live in that sort of energy regime. And there's yet a higher level version of an electron, for example. And so there are these sort of regimes of energy where nature reveals certain properties. And it's sort of tidily described by what's called the standard model. But there are there are things in the standard model that we don't under understand theoretically. We just write down what is true, rather than bringing an understanding to that truth. And the Higgs boson would help bring an understanding to why certain particles have the mass that they have. So it would be extremely important if it's found. That's surely worthy of a Nobel Prize, as physicists like to talk about what's Nobel Prize worthy and what isn't. But not only that, if it's not there, where we expect it, there meaning in the parameter space of energy and location. If it's not there, that's interesting too, because our theoretical understandings of particle physics require it to be there. And if it's not there, then you got to redo the theoretical understanding. Mm -hmm. And so any good experiment is useful with a positive or a negative result. So we'll see. By the way, it's the, it's the most complex machine ever built. So give them, you know, give them some space to figure out how to get the thing to work. Yeah. Well, they're supposed to fire it up again uh, fairly soon, I believe. Yeah, and, and we'll see, you know. But, you know, let them. Don't be so upset that it didn't work the first time. Right. Well, it was just uh, the story uh, caught my attention, and and I, I I know that these men are are very thoughtful men, and and they haven't come to this this sort of. Uh, Conclusion without putting a lot of thought into it. Or well, I didn't. I, I, a lot of were they into it. philosophers or metaphysicians or? No, they're particle they, physicists. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah. Sounds pretty exotic there. Yeah. <laughs> I think when you're in a regime where nobody really understands anything, you kind of just say, "All right, who's got an idea?" <laughs> you start allowing people to just say what comes to them, because nothing, if nothing else is working, just you tend to be a little more open to thoughts. But to believe that the Higgs boson is somehow sabotaging, uh, that's as exotic as it gets. It, it's got to be fun to sit around and think those things up. That's got that's science fiction plot written all over it. I uh, can't wait to, for that movie to come out. Mm -hmm.